the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And you know, as, as I close out, I'm telling you that Jesus is the answer. You know what we're just talking about. And the fact is, man, and we can, I'm asking all ministries, I'm asking parents, I'm asking community, let us, those who profess to be Christians, those who profess to be the body of Christ, listen, let's equip ourselves to be able to minister to our community, minister those who are in educators, to minister the gospel. And I, and I do believe it about the, the mercy, obtaining mercy and giving mercy. See, all of us receive the mercy of God, the grace of God. We should learn to begin to one another. We need to be able to inspire our children, inspire one another to do the right thing. I don't care, you know, I can't say the word care. We know that even systemic racism and all the other things are all based on not ministries, really not teaching the gospel. Because you can't, you can't have a police officer that goes ahead and shoot somebody in the back, or 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 or, 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 or just go after and give tickets to just uh, minorities mostly if if they're not hearing what the gospel is about. We, you can't say that the children are shooting and killing if they don't hear the truth they don't hear the gospel and they don't understand it then it's no way that, that we can't move forward without them receiving the gospel the grace and the mercy of god there's no way we have to we are the answer the harvest is plentiful but the labors are few and the labors must be about teaching Jesus Christ is personal Lord and Savior, and that the mercy and grace of God is for all mankind. We don't want to live in a hypocrisy, but live in truth. Love everybody to understand who is the truth. It's, we are part of the truth if we receive Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit can work through us if we stay on the message and the will of God. You know the will of God. We know that. We know that. We know that the lynching, uh, the burning, the mutilation. Uh, we know that the until the, the those type of things. We know that that was the church. But these people went to church. Or the people that sat on the jury went to church. They professed Jesus Christ the personal Lord and Savior. <laughs> that civil war that happened. Those are the people that sit there and talk about, you know, it wasn't about state rights, it was about the, the human rights. And if we still sit there and try to put people and teach your children, well, based on the color of a skin, a person in a certain way, that's not true. Skin color has nothing to do with behavior. It's condition and environment that has something to do with that. Even systemic racism and stuff has something to do with that. When we start sitting there, Martin Luther King, you know, when we're sitting there and recognizing this 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 weekend, it still resonates because he's trying to say we don't judge people by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. And that content of the character is individual characters and the character we really want and we as the body of Christ is supposed to be able to do is pour in the gospel, pour in the truth, pour in what he said is the love of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God. I was sitting there saying is when if you we the Bible has so many areas to talk about, but always preach the whole package. See, I can be delivered from sin through Jesus Christ. Somebody else need to hear that message. We need to be able to tell them that Christ come to give life and life more abundantly. We know in John 10:10, 10, 10, this thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. 
not the people. It's a spiritual warfare that's going on. And all we need to do is be able to profess Jesus Christ and teach them the truth. It's the truth that makes you free. It's the truth that makes you free. It's the truth that makes you free. Those kids is killing themselves in these inner cities. They don't have the truth. They have what they see. They see the, 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 the you know, when, when teachers, we talked about this just a few minutes ago, when teachers don't have the ability to, to sit there and teach kids uh, the compassion and mercy. But anytime you try to rob a dream from a child, anytime you try to rob the inspiration, the aspiration of a child, you are wrong. Anytime these babies that have raised babies don't know how to raise them, they don't know the word of God. We have to and encourage them to hear what the gospel is saying. The answer is in the gospel. The good news, that's what it means. We can't, we have to move away from discrimination. We got to move away from ostracizing and start moving into teaching, educating, and teach them everything you know. Somebody told me one time, I went to a minister conference, and I said, we need to tell them everything, everything that person told me. Listen to what I'm just going to say. The person told me if we taught them everything, who would be in charge? If we're sitting there worried about who's going to be in charge, if we're sitting there worried about who's going to be more anointed than, than we are, or as you as a pastor, then you missed the boat. Because who's in charge is Jesus Christ. Who's leading in God is the Holy Spirit. We have to sit there. It doesn't, I know many of you sitting there worried about paying those bills. I got you. But don't compromise the gospel. If you have to compromise the gospel, then get go find another career. I know you say it's either said and done, but the truth is go find another career because you're going to help me accountable. You're going to be held accountable if we don't speak the truth, teach the truth, minister the truth. This minister the truth. The truth is, and Jesus said, my burdens are easy, my yoke is light. But we make it hard for somebody. We make it difficult for somebody. We do that. Because we're sitting there focusing on the wrong thing. These people need to hear the truth. It's the truth that makes people free, not your doctrine, not your opinion. His will be done. That's why he taught us to say, our Father, which I have a hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Let's preach his will. Let's teach his will. Where is his will? It's found in that word. It's found in the gospel. It's found in the Bible. Look at my Nehemiah the, the, on the slide I have here. It's clearly sit there and say, if we sit there and read, just like you read here in Nehemiah 8, verse 8. Look at that. So they read in the book and the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading of the word of God. Give people sense and understanding of the word of God. They don't, we don't need to get spooky deep. The scripture I was reading was talking about desire to sincere milk of the gospel. I mean, let me just read that again. Let's, let's, let's put that up there again. The sincere desire to sincere milk. Let me go ahead back there, up back up to where is that? He said in verse 2, chapter 2, verse 2, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Just like we take a child and bring them to the edge to pre-K and all those other things, is to give them, we feed them milk. We don't start feeding them algebra when they come into pre-K. <laughs> People must come as children of God, as babes in Christ, and desire the sincere milk of the word of God and watch 
how they grow. They will grow. Teachers inspire the children. I know you got a problem because some of the parents, because we are living off the residue of babies living, raising babies. We need to be able to inspire our youth, whether they're brown or black or white, inspire them to be a conqueror in Christ Jesus inspire them to be world overcomers i mean i ain't talking about for ministry i'm talking about the body of christ overcoming this world through the gospel through the truth amen if we can just get people to understand the truth of the gospel if we can get people to understand the power of the gospel and the fact is that they can be free just like you can be free we don't need to teach and hold people back we don't need to teach our children see that's what's going on in homes there's people in homes right now being taught to discriminate being taught to teach to been taught lies about people based on the mere fact of the color of the skin. We don't need to do that. We don't need to be that way. We need to be where God wants us to be. Teach the truth. We are all made in him as God. There is no subhuman. There is no come on people. Go back to the science. Maybe that's why you don't want to go with the science. Maybe that's why some people sit and say, I don't believe in science. I don't care whether you don't believe in science or not. It's the truth that we are all made in the image of God. And the image of God is not based on the color of the of skin, not based on the melanin of the skin. It's based on the truth. That we are spiritual beings. God is the spirit. And those who worship us worship in the spirit and truth. So we need to go ahead, desire that sincere milk of the word. See, because the fact is, and I like reading, let's read that real quick anyway. First Peter 2, 1, whereby laying aside all malice, all gal, and hypocrisy, and envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babe desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby, if so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. And if the Lord is gracious, we are too. For teachers, be gracious toward the, the children that come to you. God has called you and appointed you. Teach them the gospel. Let it say true to you about what the gospel is. Because that's what he's calling us to be. Teach and inspire them to be. You know, the Bible said that we're more than conquerors to those like Jesus. Let it, let's, let's teach them what the word says, who they are. You know, uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> and let's teach them this. Let, let me get back to this. Uh, Let's teach them this because it's not based on it's not based on color. It's not based on anything else other than what the word says. Look at this. Let's get to the point where we can get these people to start sitting there and accept themselves as as royal priesthood. Look at that verse nine. <laughs> But you are a chosen generation. That, that's, that's for brown and black and white. We are a chosen generation in Christ Jesus. If we be in Christ Jesus, we are a chosen generation. We are a different type of people. We are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that, that you should show. Let me see. Peculiar people that you should show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God which have attained what mercy but have what which in time had not attained mercy but now have attained mercy come on now <laughs> dearly beloved i beseech you as strangers and pilgrim attained from fleshly lust which wars against the soul having your conversation honest listen teachers listen parents listen saints having your conversation honest not see you know a lie is not right 
You know discrimination is not right. You may feel like, well, no, he said it because he may be on the other end. Let me tell you something. This is not right in the eyes of God. You are not above God. Nobody's above God. Nobody. So when he sit there and said, having your conversation, verse 12, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that wherein they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your what? By your what? You can't sit there and say that I encourage to pack the prison system. You can't sit there and say I'm gonna discriminate against somebody because the color of your skin. You can't sit there and talk about I'm gonna follow this particular group of people because of the color of their skin. You can't sit there and sit there and say, well, I, I think this election is stolen because of the people's color of their skin. You don't, you, you're living a lie. You're teaching a lie. Stop telling a lie. Black people, stop telling a lie too. Don't, let's learn to love one another. Christ, that's what Martin Luther King, this whole weekend is about, is the fact is that nonviolence, love one another, <laughs> being able to judge each individual, not by the, the color of their skin, but the content of the character. Because see, this is the content of the character of whether somebody is, you could be a bad brown person, black person, or white person, you can have that character. That could be your content. But that's, you need to start off with every man with the content of the character, not the based on the complexion of their skin. That's not what, that's why, that's why that message of Martin Luther King resonates today. Because we're talking about loving and treating one another made in the image of God. So verse 12, it says, have your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak evil, speak against you as evil doers, that they may by your good works, which you shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. We are called to glorify God. We are not call to glorify people based on the color of the skin, based on the melanin in the skin, based on the place that they came from, based on their orientation or anything else. It's based on the fact that we're glorifying God and teaching people to glorify God so that when they overcome their, what we call sin, they are glorifying God. And they're going to give that uh they're going to say it's because of the power of God that they have changed. And that's what you want to be able to say. Listen, I'm not what I used to be, but thank God, hallelujah, that I can be more than what I am now. Huh? That's what God, and I, and I can be more through Christ Jesus and I can love more through Christ Jesus. I can have that grace and mercy through Christ Jesus. I can bear the fruits of the spirit with his love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such. There's no law through Christ Jesus. Christ is the answer. Let's, let's get Christ, let's say, ministries. Let's equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. Saints. Let's go ahead and live your life so that your children and your, your parents, your family, friends can see Christ in you. Neighborhood, let's start getting together and, and recognizing one another and being honest and, 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 and peace with one another. Let us start talking and being able to at least report to the parents if you do see bad behavior. And don't be, is this your neighborhood? Don't be, don't be afraid to be able to call something out. And there's, there could be immediate impact on the in neighborhood. So I'm, I'm thinking that if we can just recognize and preach the truth, that's what he was telling me, God was telling me. And I don't care how you want to say, did he talk to me verbally? No, I was talking to my spirit. And he said, just stay on the truth. Just stay on the truth. Just stay on the truth. What's the truth? The word of God. Stay on it. Preach the truth. Because yes, in this world system, you're going to have, the God is world going to have hate, division, and all that mistrust, and all that other stuff. 
they're gonna sit there and try to sit there. We want we want to bring back, you know, when talking about making something great again. Some people think they're talking about let's make it where I get all the benefits and the other people get all the negatives. No, let's sit there and say God's people, God's people. I ain't I I know in the world. If you're in the world, you want to stay in the world. If you want to go by the world system, and if you want to go by the the, the, the even primitive of the world system, you do that because there's a place for you when you leave. There's a place for you when you actually leave this world. So don't, you you want to you want to raise your child to be a hate or a murderer? Then you know that there's no eternal life abiding in them, and that's what you want to do. You do that. We can't stop you because it's always based on choice. It's always about the choice. So you want to raise your child to live on a lie, knowing there's a foundation that you cannot withstand when the wind and the rain comes. You do that. But I'm talking about for us as believers. Us as believers. You as a believer. Teach the word. Live the word. We ain't talking about no spooky stuff. Nobody asks you how much you pray. How what, what <laughs> how much you read the Bible? Just read the Bible. If you gotta read one page and take a whole year to read a page, read one page. Just get the truth and live the truth. Live with mercy, live with grace toward one another. You've been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let's just start showing that. Because anytime we show ugliness, we we do that. Somebody's trying to say, why do you say you call out of darkness yet you sit in darkness? How can you be called out of darkness and you're sitting in darkness? How can you do that? People killing, you got young kids killing each other in, in major in urban cities. How can you? Well, you in darkness. You know you in darkness. And you think you can't get out? Jesus is the way out. You don't have to be what people call you to be. You don't have to sit there and kill somebody because your whole thing is respect. God has given you respect. He sent his only begotten son for you. Woo, glory to God. He sent his only begotten son for you. If the world don't respect you, don't forget God does respect you. And he's the creator of this world. He's the creator of this universe. <laughs> hey, man, oh, that's, that's from God. God says, I respect you. God says, I love you. And he sent his son to show the love of God through Jesus Christ. Let us learn who he is. And then I'm just saying, parents, learn the word of God. Learn it and live it. That's what he wants us to do. Apply the word of God in our everyday life. See, you, you sit there, you can't sit there and still try to get over on people and say, I'm living the word of God. It's not about the title of being called a Christian. It's the living that's called being a Christian. And that is the answer to all things. The word of God, the will of God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. So we got to do it his way. Live his way, man. So for this Mother's Day, Mother's King weekend, just remember this, Jesus Christ is Lord. The answer to all our issues is in that word and being led by the Holy Spirit. God loves you, Christ loves you, the Holy Spirit dwells in you and loves you. I love you, I don't even know most of you and I don't have to <laughs> because his will is for all men to be saved. And his will is for all of you to have an abundant life. So whether you're black and you're inspired to be a president, be an astronaut, be a lawyer, you can be that. Be an engineer, you can be that. It's just what we plan in our life. And it's time for us to stop planning truth in our life. And when we do that, we got the answer. All right, <laughs> I talk long enough. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this as, this, somebody said, I always break the segments down, but like this this last piece right here, just break it down and, and send it out as immediately as possible. And just recognize Jesus Christ, Lord, he loves you, amen. All right, I'll check you uh, throughout the week. Uh, Cause I think it's time to put this, this, he just says speak the truth. 
That's what he says. Speak the truth. What the word is. The word is true. Pontus Pilate asked the question, what is true? It's the word of God. Amen. All right. Well, y'all have a blessed week. Enjoy your day all. And remember, it's all about really the unity of all of us coming together, living in harmony, instead of living in division. There's people who thrive on that, make money off of that. I'm just saying it's for you. Make salvation through receiving the word of Jesus Christ. Amen? All right. God bless you, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll try to get these videos out as soon as possible. But uh, I really appreciate those who do listen, listen. Amen? God bless. Bye-bye.